no, 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 no. What? You still have some on your nose. Did I get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What? I just remembered. Um, I told Alex he could come over for a drink. Nico. I, I'm sorry. He, I just saw him at the gallery and it slipped out. He made you invite him. No, no. He suggested it. Me. I, I don't know. I told you how I feel about this. I know. Shit, Kirsten, I'm sorry. Can you tell that he's a little fucked up? Yeah, he's a little morbid, maybe. Oh, you know, since college, I mean, that's gotta count for something, right? People change. You just can't see it. Well, what can I say? They have a big heart. I know. I know. And I don't want anything to happen to you because of it. Look at me. Nothing is going to happen to me. Just one little drink, mm -hmm. and that's it, baby. He's just our friend, right? <laughs> He's your friend. Friend to all is a friend to none. Jesus Christ! No, just me. Alex! <laughs> Sorry to frighten you. I didn't want to spoil the moment. What are you doing? Well, I was invited, remember? Ten o'clock, but... Well, past that now. Was it 10? I don't remember that. I'm pretty sure that's what you said. <sighs> you wouldn't have me wait outside on a night like tonight, would you? I would, actually. How'd you get in? Spare key on top of the door frame. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling Michael to find a better place for years. Are you fucking serious? You're right. You're right. I'm, uh, I'm being rude. Um, I should just show myself up, I guess. Now the time?
Sorry about that. She'll be all right. She's just a little, um... Is that right? Tonight, tonight for celebrating the man of the hour and his achievements. Let's grab a drink. Right. Right. Of course. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And when you're right, you're fucking right. What are you having, gin and tonic like always? That wouldn't be a proper celebration without wine, don't you think? Yeah. I like Merlot, right? Got a great bottle of Merlot right here. I'm straight from Italy. It's pretty hard. I insist. Go and make yourself comfortable. All right. Okay. Glasses are by the sink. Wouldn't believe how much that wine cost me. I got that out of a vineyard in Tuscany. <laughs> So much for wine, I don't even drink. So, Michael, tell me about the glass date. I'm dying to know. What do you mean? Well, you've created Michelangelo's David, but for what purpose? You want me to force my interpretation on you? Must have meant something by it. Well, my interpretation isn't all that great, Alex. It's without interpretation, it's, uh... You know, it's just not something you can really take away from people. Well, I have a few theories. Perhaps you'd like to hear them. Fire away, cowboy. <clears throat> I can't deny it had a certain visceral effect on me. You've taken a stoic figure and you... We created him from glass. Why? It's soulless. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wait. What's your hurry, Michael? It's almost midnight. Well, I wouldn't say it's soulless. It's a rip-off, sure, but it's not soulless. Well, that may well be, but it's not real. You've said nothing. None of it's real. Well, not really. I mean, it doesn't exist on a canvas, or a stage, or a screen. It exists right here. In the viewer's mind, where all the paintings, and sculptures, and interpretive dancing bullshit never really of get course. to. Of course. And the stage, the womb, and on and on, and ad I'm on. not claiming to be anything. The piece looks nice, and people seem to like it. Like it, Michael. You have the meeting out of your hand. It sparks a small sense of joy, I guess. How can reminding people of something beautiful really be that bad? I mean, it's the people that give it a soul, not me. Is that so? I think so. And this all... This? It's for them. We're entertainers. I forget that sometimes, even me. Well, you can be a dancing monk, you're a vaudeville performer. Some of us need to have our sights set a little bit higher than that, Michael. What about your piece? I mean, it seems actually surprisingly ordinary knowing you. It's going to be my masterpiece, Michael. And it's almost complete. Almost. Cutting it a little close there, don't you think? Only as close as necessary. You know, somehow I believe that. You, my friend, are a mystery. But you always see things through. Indeed. To us. To what lies ahead? <laughs> right, so, uh, you want some water or something? Ah. It's time. Midnight. The end and the beginning. And thus we sit together now, and all night long no one has stirred, and yet God has not said a word.
Have you read Perfuria's Lover? What is that, Keats? I suppose, but anything's beauty in the eyes of the uninitiated. Oh, shit. Hmm? What was that? If you have anything to say, you better get it out quick. What? You know, Michael, you're really going to have to speak up. I can barely hear you. Call 911. How drunk you are. <laughs> I got something to help. Something to get your heart rate back up. <laughs> okay. Alright. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright. Come on. enough. that, Michael. Oh, it just all goes right up your nose in the end anyway, right? I'm just cut out the middle, man. you're going to be paralyzed. Hmm. You're a fan of the passion though, aren't you? Yeah, I saw your painting. of art. Perhaps the greatest. The crucifixion, that is. Not your painting. <laughs> Look at this place. So unfair, isn't it? 
someone like me can give their soul for the sake of art. Just to toil in obscurity. And you are given the world all tied up in a bow. <coughs> God turns his nose up at my sacrifices. But I don't believe in God. I only believe in the two absolutes. Suffering and death. <coughs> and suffering makes for great art. I know what you're thinking. Even I haven't suffered enough. But the ultimate sacrifice is that of the creator when he becomes the martyr. They're gonna look back on what I did here. And they won't be able to ignore me any longer. I could have been their savior. But they drove me to this. They drove me to this and I spit on them. And I spit on you. what I've done for you. I'm taking you with me, fucking Kincaid. Are you ready? Are you ready for hell? <laughs>